The Secret Life of Jimmy Jong, who stole, and lost, more than $3 billion Athens, Georgia, is home to the University of Georgia, and the police there are used to college town type crimes, break ins, bar fights, and assorted rowdiness. That kind of thing. But the 911 call that came in on the night of March 13, 2019, was unlike anything the Athens Clark County Police Department had ever encountered. On the phone was 28 year old Jimmy Zhang, a local party boy and George Allen who frequented Athens drinking establishments. He wasn't like the other town raddies, Zhang was also a computer expert who had an unusually robust digital home surveillance system. Now, he was calling to report a crime, hundreds of thousands of dollars in cryptocurrency that he said had been stolen from his home. Thinking of all that lost money, Zhang was distressed. I'm having a panic attack, Zhang told the dispatcher, according to a recording obtained by CNBC. Zhang turned down the dispatcher's offer of an ambulance, and began trying to explain the situation. I'm an investor in Bitcoin, which is like an online thing, he said. What happened next would bring an end to a nearly decade-long manhunt and solve one of the biggest crimes of the crypto era. And it also would lead to the largest seizure of cryptocurrency from an individual in the history of the Department of Justice. This Zhang's emergency call that winter evening sent investigators down a long digital trail that led back to the earliest days of Bitcoin and revealed a dark truth about the universe of hackers and coders responsible for the creation of cryptocurrencies. It's a world where heroes and villains traded places and could even be the same people. None of it would go at all the way Zhang wanted. The 911 call didn't produce a suspect in the theft from Zhang's house. Athens police were dealing with one of their first crypto cases and unfamiliar with the shadowy underworld, and they failed to make progress in the case. So Zhang turned to local private investigator Robin Martinelli, who owns and operates Martinelli Investigations in nearby Loganville, Georgia. A former sheriff's deputy turned P.I., Martinelli was far from an expert in crypto. She specialized in process serving, cheating spouses and custody investigations, the type of probes that once got her firm featured on an episode of the Montel Williams show. Martinelli had recently undergone surgery to amputate one leg, leaving her to conduct her surveillance operations with the help of a prosthetic. Still, she was motivated to solve Zhang's case. When you wake up and don't put two feet on the ground, but you still have to run a company, you got to get out there and kick ass, Martinelli told CNBC in an interview for the new documentary, Crypto 911, Exposing a Bitcoin Billionaire. She began by examining Zhang's robust surveillance video archive of his home. In looking at footage from the night of the crime, Martinelli spotted a slender male figure, we could tell that they had like a hood on, a gray hood, but then they'd almost like a black ski mask, Martinelli said. The suspect appeared to know his way around Zhang's house, which led Martinelli to believe that he was a friend or at least someone who had heard Zhang boast about his Bitcoin stash. From the video, Martinelli was able to determine the suspect's height and even the size of his hands. She said she began her investigation by putting Zhang's friends under surveillance, following them to their homes and downtown bars on Broad Street and College Avenue. She put trackers on cars and scoured social media and conducted background checks. As she watched Zhang's bar friends come and go, Martinelli formed a low opinion of the group. She described them as very, very casual, plastic, not really caring, maybe using Jimmy a little bit. Please subscribe thank you.